Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at some of the Linux distros that I recommend for new users, specifically since most new users might be coming from something like Windows 7 or even Windows 10. I'm gonna pick the Linux distros that I think would work best for them. A couple things to keep in mind is um, I tend to stick mostly on the user interface for this because I always figured that if you're an advanced Linux user, then it doesn't really matter what base OS you use because you can hack anything, whether it's, you know, Arch, Ubuntu based or Debian, you know, you can change the Linux kernel or update the graphics driver stack that comes with the OS. So if you're a new user, you don't really care about that and you just kind of want to use the OS. So I figure the layout itself is important and just the overall stability. So without further ado, here are my top choices. The very first choice that I would recommend for Windows users especially is Linux Mint. Keep in mind that I'm running this on a virtual box so the performance may not look as smooth here. Right from the get-go, it is essentially the same layout as Windows 10 or even Windows 7. You have your start menu here. You have a nice modern looking menu with the apps here and you even had the icons on the desktop here pretty much everything is the same and similar look and feel to windows so i think that's just going to be easy to get started on the only couple issues i have with linux mint is that i don't really like the icons come default with linux mint here um, but again that's a very nitpicky small detail and the other general thing is that the default layout or interface could be improved on. I never really like this dull gray look here. Thankfully, Linux Mint makes it pretty easy to change the settings or change the themes. So I usually go for a dark theme. So instead of Mint Y, I'll go Mint Y dark here. And then I'll go Mint Y dark teal here as well. Don't really like this interface. I think it gives you a lot of choice though and it makes it very simple. Most distros or a lot of distros that aim for new users, they make it really hard to change anything. Like elementary OS, for example. With this look, I think this is a lot better. Maybe the icons are not the best, but now it really looks a little bit nicer, I think. But yeah, this is the probably the number one choice I would recommend just because Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, which is based on Debian, which is just a very stable, OS. The only other downside is that it may not have the latest kernel or the latest Mesa graphics stack. So if you're particularly interested in gaming, that could be an issue, but it's also very easy to update those, especially on Ubuntu based distros. So the second OS here that I recommend is Zorin OS. Zorin OS is also a Ubuntu based distro, so you can be sure that it's very stable. In terms of the interface, it also by default ships with a Windows 10-like environment or layout here. And compared to Linux Mint, I think it's a lot more modern and just overall aesthetically more pleasing. Again, that's also very subjective. But yeah, I think it just has a nicer look to it by default. And it also is very generous with the appearance settings that you can change. So you can go to the theme, you can change the accent colors which is nice keeps it i think it keeps it a little bit simpler and you can just default to a dark theme yeah so overall it's just a much nicer layout compared to uh, linux mint one key feature that i think i want to see in pretty much every linux distro by default especially once aimed at new users or newbies to linux is a layout selector so by default this gives you that windows 10 layout but you can also switch to a Windows XP type of layout here. And it doesn't change too much here. It really just changes um, or adds these bottom little panels here. And then there's also another layout better fitted for for like small touch screen devices like tablets, maybe like a like a Surface Go or something like that. So that can be pretty neat. But yeah, the, the main attraction I think for Zorin is this layout selector. And if you get the paid version of Zorin, the Ultimate Edition, it includes a Mac OS layout, which is nice. Kind of wish that was included in the free version of it, but that's fine. With the layout though, it does have some weird bugs. Like if you select the accent color and it's in dark mode, if you change it to like red, for example, it gives this like some light shift color. I don't know if you can see in the video, but it kind of like darkens the 
or puts a filter over in the menu here. So it kind of like, it's almost like night shift is activated or blue light filter is activated. Overall, I think this is my second choice for some, um, for an OS that I would recommend for newbies to Linux. Obviously, especially if coming from Windows, uh, the Windows environment. So the last Windows type of layout we're going to take a look here is Kubuntu. Kubuntu is an Ubuntu based distro using the Plasma desktop environment. The other two distros that we looked at, Linux Mint and Zorin OS, all have desktop environments that are based on GNOME, which is a separate desktop environment. And Plasma is its own created by KDE. And this also is a very Windows-like layout. If you click here, this is your start menu. This is actually also a very nice modern layout, somewhat like Zorin, but I would say that one of the good things about it is that it gives you a lot of customization. So if you click here, this is the start menu and you can change the look of it just by right clicking here and showing alternatives. So if you want something that will generate like a menu like this, or you can just choose your apps, you can have that there. Or if you want something that's a bit more traditional, you can just choose something basic here. And you have just a more traditional menu. And it does kind of look like more of a mixture between Windows 10 and Windows XP. The customization ability, it's also its pro and it's also its con because to change stuff, it's a bit kind of complicated just because you get so many options. So for example, I wanted to change the theme and there is so sometimes you may wonder should i look in settings should i look in appearance should i look in theme and so like let's say you try going to settings you gotta go to system settings and you think okay maybe the workspace theme is the right place but then it's like oh not really so you go back and let's ch let's say you want to change the look and feel and it's just kind of like an odd way of changing the look and feel but yeah this will change the entire look of it so let's say we wanted to do an arc dark theme here and apply it we can and then let's say we wanted to have a more mac os type of layout we can also apply it here and you get those uh, mac os icons there so i put it third just because it is a little bit different and just because it lets you customize things a lot and it can be maybe a little bit intimidating for a new user coming from windows to mess around with it but other than that it's a very modern and less resource intense desktop environment and it gives you a lot of freedom in what you can change it may not be easy sometimes but if you kind of learn around your way around it it can reward you with a lot of choice here so there you guys have it um, those are my top linux based distros especially if you're coming from a windows os i did omit a lot of other good options like ubuntu itself which all of these os's are based on but ubuntu itself doesn't have a familiar windows type of environment that's really the only reason why i'm not including it here and of course there's many more great linux distros yeah so let me know what top linux distros you recommend for newbies coming from windows things always change with every release version of each of these os's and maybe i'll add some new ones to this list or update this list so if you like this video and found it helpful please like share subscribe and i will see you all next time